but just not quite uh, going with the line at the moment as Whitney Hilli Hillier comes up the hill. That's a fantastic save for par. Belinda G, Hazy out of the bunker. Great shot there. And she's a bit soft, but it's playing pretty well, and she's played an absolutely stunning shot here, checking it on the third bounce, and it's pulled up within two feet of the flag, and that's a, a shot of a young woman who's very confident in her short game. Because she came out of the bunker. A lot of our uh, elite Aussies are playing at the moment, but this field is phenomenal, and this is Maya Stark, who uh, fits into that category. Has dropped a shot today. Is it two under? Look at that. She's an aggressive player, Sandy. A lot to like. Maya Stark, a birdie opportunity here on 15. So parred the par 5, 14th, after a bogey on the par 4, 13th. And she's made up for that bogey on 13. So back to three under. Back to you, Hazy. Yep. Megan McLaren here from 13 feet. Not much to this putt. She got right back into her previous routine, more so than previous greens here. I wouldn't be surprised to see this give the hole a real scare. Oh, yes. Oh. Just that little touch of luck that she deserved, probably. That's a fantastic result for the overnight leader, and she's done really well to pick up a birdie here. Uh, that's a, a good break, I'd suggest, there with the last roll of the putt. And McLaren from 87 metres. She's stripped off back to just the shirt alone to free up the shoulders, and she has flown it all the way back, and she's risked that back, but she's going to spin it as well. So that's a fantastic approach again for McLaren. I did notice, Sandy, that she'd reverted to that, uh, that semi-baked aim point routine on the last hole just to find her feet again she's gone back to her rhythm so normally extremely fast this will be a really good test of how she's adapted to the wet greens not a dissimilar to slope to the one we saw her resume play on the 11th earlier where it got away from her a little bit this will test her to see if she's made that adjustment 15 feet from mclaren our leader yeah that's just in her mind, that's unthinkable. That's finished like that. Uh, we saw G's putt not run out as I thought it might, and you can see McLaren looking the same way, just just failing to fathom how that putt down that slip, steep slope can finish three feet short, and she's left herself another one of those testing putts to avoid what would be effectively a third three putt. As we watch McLaren. Yep, cleans up that par. So maintains at seven under. That was an opportunity, though, to just stretch that lead. Carmen Alonso in the clubhouse at six under. Or just the safer side, because if she misses this, she really wants to have the uphill putt coming back. Just needs to land it, as Mark said, just on the edge there. Run it out. Oh, I think she's done this pretty nicely. Thank you very much. That is a really good shot. And, and don't forget, too, that ground, it's, it's going to be sticky. Mm. Those shots aren't that easy in these sort of conditions. She's not hitting off really soft, you know, fluffy, you know, good lies. The grass is there. It, it's amazing, as we've said a million times, it's amazing we're playing because I, I just could not believe they could get this course back in this shape. And this is Carmen Alonso, who is at six under after bogeying the seventh hole, which is her 17th hole, having started her round two yesterday on the ninth. This to get into the clubhouse, equal leader at the moment. The reflections on the water. Now here at the 18th, Maya Stark, this is for Eagle. This would be very helpful. Oh, it's a good attempt too. Just coming up a little shy, but it was from long range. That's really well done. So she's going to make a birdie. She'll, go to, she'll go to four under Sandy, which will put her in a, a share of third. Makes her very threatening. Absolutely. Can catch fire the 22-year-old Swede. Already up to 87th in the world, only turned pro in 2021. And also with the bump and run on this, you've got the severity of the slope and the kick on that left-hand side. 
So it could bounce anywhere. Here we go. Pivotal moment. That's good. It's a good yep. result. Going to have a slippery putt downhill, but at the same time, she's she's done that well. From 12 feet straight down the hill here, McLaren, for a round of 69. One of the longest rounds she's ever played by the clock. Ah, just fades to the right. Settles for a round of 70, but that's uh, outstanding golf. Uh, very tough to resume in the circumstances in which she did, but she'll be pretty happy. I know she was keen to keep the bogeys off the card, but the more she has uh, two under rounds here at Bonville, the more she's going to stretch the field, and she's done just that here. Hillier here needing a birdie to give herself a realistic chance of making the cut from 186 metres. Caught a tiny bit skinny, but it's flying left to right, which is unusual for her, and it's up, and it's a beauty. Oh, what a cracking shot that is. <laughs> Might have caught a bit thin, but uh, who cares? There's always a shot that for anyone that goes out to play in, in whatever standard that has you saying, I'll come back tomorrow. And it's usually and that's on the, the shot. This putt's going to break approximately two cups from her left to right. But this for an eagle to vault her inside the cut line. A birdie might do. Eagle will definitely get the job done. From nine feet. Deserves it. And gets it. <laughs> Whitney Hiller. <laughs> Acknowledges the crowd. Looks up and thinks, where has that been? So Alice Hewson on 18. This is an eagle putt. What a statement this would be. And what a way to close out her round to be equal second, one shot back. Winner of the 2020 South African Women's Open and it was her first professional event. It's a pretty good effort. But uh, her childhood wasn't um, playing golf. She was a good swimmer. Represented really? England in um, you know, junior categories. I think her mum was a swimming coach as well.